Welcome everyone to a another Chaos and Comics video. You can find me at Chaos and Comics on Instagram and Twitter, and this falls more far more into the chaos section than the comic section. This is a review of Fast and the Furious 9. Uh, it actually matches this behind the wheel thing I always do because I'm in a car. Uh, no one on Fast and the Furious would uh, ever even think about doing something silly in a 2014 Nissan Versa, but that's where I'm doing this, and I'm telling you it's Fast and Furious. So, um, uh, anyway, so we're doing a, a movie review. I, I guess I've been doing a couple more of these here and there, so I may continue to do them, I may not. I was going to do an In the Heights review. I even made a thumbnail, but that review was just going to be how great of a husband I was for taking my wife to it. Uh, anyway, to uh, Fast and the Furious, I think, uh, or F9 as it's called, I think of my keyboard when I, when I think of this. But uh, F9, so the sort of underground tagline, the unofficial tagline for all these Fast and the Furious movies are, we know it's dumb, but it's fun. And I'm not sure if that's, uh, I'm not sure if that's really a reason to watch these movies or if it's just an excuse, really. Um, because they are pretty bad. Uh, and and they seem to they seem to just double up on the craziness. Um, but on another level, I say that, and you know, did I enjoy myself? Yeah, I did. I thought it was fun. I mean, at one point, there's a car in space. Like it's just gotten to that point where Tyrese and Ludacris are in a car and they need to like destroy a satellite, and they launch a Lam I think it's a Lamborghini into space, and they're in it. Like that's how silly it's gotten to some extent, uh, and and I think they you at one level you think they play into it because how can you take any of it serious? But on another level, as a guy that's not in, don't doesn't intimately know these movies, I've watched maybe four of them for the same reason that I did watch this one. I had time and I went and watched it. Right, that I don't intimately know these movies. Um, you know, I noticed that The Rock wasn't in this movie, and he was in one of them that I recently watched. So. Um, I went and looked that up when I found out why The Rock wasn't in the movie. Uh, and you layer this idea that it is really a silly movie and you're just there to have fun with the way Vin Diesel talked about the reason The Rock wasn't in it is that apparently they had a little bit of a clash, um, you know, and they're essentially the same kind of actor, right? If one of them was in a hit series and like they passed away or something and they just wanted to replace the actor, you can replace one with the other guy essentially. But uh, the article I read in Variety was really funny because Vin Diesel was basically saying that he was being too hard on The Rock, uh, you know, because he wanted to get the real character out of Hobbs. Uh, he, he said, and this is what got me, he could have been being um, f a little too Fellini-esque or something like that. So he associated the work they were doing... Um, in these Fast and the Furious movies with Fellini, who is a, you know, a director that is uh, regarded very highly in the history of cinema. And I'm not going to, I don't know that much about Fellini. I haven't watched eight and a half. I don't even know if it's called minutes or seconds or whatever. I haven't even, I haven't watched those. I know that they, sh I should, there's like, you know, a ton of stuff that I know that is on my list to watch. So I know what I'm actually talking about. And that's one of them. But um, that's not the point. The point is, is that in Vin Diesel's mind, he's associating, you know, this with high art. And, uh, and it's not. It really isn't. So, Vin Diesel, you got to really reset yourself. And what's even funnier, though, is that I, you could just suspend belief when, you know, they're destroying submarines or flying out in space or all the crazy action scenes that are, you know, actually fun. Uh, and I want to see those. Uh, it's the closest thing you can have to being a, you know, almost the Batman superhero stuff without it being a superhero movie. Um, but what's hard and what's funny is that Vin Diesel saying this and Vin Diesel's easily the worst actor in the entire movie. Like when he says lines, you have to suspend your belief, uh, or suspend. I can't even remember what the phrase is, but, uh, th that's really the part that takes you out of the movie the most. And I'm not saying rock is a good actor. But he's a 50 times better actor than Vin Diesel is. That's for damn sure. So I thought that was interesting when I read that article on the way home, you know, asking myself, oh, why isn't Rock in this? I hadn't seen Hobbs and Shaw yet. I don't know how that story connects. I wouldn't mind seeing that because I like The Rock and I like Jason Statham. Um, so I think that's an important part. <laughs> that's an important thing to consider. Um, some people do 
are comparing this to high art, and there's the probably the person that uh, is the least highest of art there. Other than that, I mean, you know, we we see the corniness a lot better, a lot more uh, in current action movies, even these kind of action movies that are almost what we would have called straight to video, you know, now being straight to streaming is actually good. But uh, we, we see them a lot more because if you watch all the old action movies, they sort of are corny and we make adjustments to it or we remember them more fondly because we were younger or at that point in our life. Um, so I can adjust for that. I adjust for it when I read Simons and Thor, which is super corny, people eating wafers and whatnot. Uh, and if you adjust to it, then it's good. It's fun. Fast and the Furious 9 is more or less what you would expect it to be. Uh, it's almost like, though, um, a lame duck movie because you know they're going to do something super crazy for Fast and the Furious 10, which is supposed to be the final um, the final movie. And at some point, I'll watch Hobbs and Shaw. Why not? At some point, I'll watch all the Fast and the Furious movies. I'll just start throwing them on. I don't know which ones are good or bad. I know the first one's the best, but that's what we'll do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. At Chaos and Comics, Instagram and Twitter. See you next time.